Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of How Hard Can It Possibly Be To Raise 10 Children In The Sims 4 So we've got Austin here He didn't get a promotion in his last episode, in the last episode I think it's because he had burnout Well he doesn't have that anymore Because Carla took care of it, didn't I Austin? So next time you go to work you should be able to get a promotion Also I've just realised the triplets who are children, they only have three days before they become teenagers. And I think they're, the triplets are all at a, a B grade at school and I really want them to be A, a students before they become teens. So you know what? Erica, you're going to do some extra credit work. Sophie, so are you. And Edwin as well. Okay, perfect. They're all doing extra credit work. Austin, clean that up. Disgusting. And then we've also got Jimmy... Where are you, Jim? Jimmy and Joseph are just one day from becoming children. So we need to work on thinking, imagination, and potty. So you know what, boys? You carry on playing dolls. Keep playing dolls. I'm not sure how everyone's needs are, but to be honest, I'm just really glad I don't have any infants. So by the time the twins, Jimmy and Joseph, age into children, we'll be left with only three toddlers. Which, compared to what I'm used to, piece of piss. Easy. It is getting pretty late, although I haven't... <laughs> I think the first the first episode we stuck to a schedule where the family ate together and they went to bed together. That's kind of gone out the window in the last few episodes. I have kids out on the farm, out in the backyard at like 3am nowadays. Parenting at this stage is not about routine, it's just about keeping them alive. Okay, Jimmy, you've got your level 3 in imagination. So I'm going to send you out to the backyard. You're going to play with some blocks. And then that'll help you get your thinking skill. New family dynamic difficult between Serenity and Erica. <laughs> yeah, all right, whatever. Just let it play out. If the game thinks it's difficult, then I guess it's difficult. I like that some of the siblings just aren't getting on. Right, Claire, if you're so uncomfortable because of how messy it is, why don't you... Get your fucking ass up and work. God, Erica, seems like no one wants to work these days. Oh, Joseph's got imagination level three. Well, then in that case, Joseph, you should go go potty and then play with some shapes. Jimmy got to... Okay, Jimmy's almost at level two, so he'll be able to take himself soon. Ah, oh, sweet. Jimmy can take himself now. Okay, perfect. Right then, Jimmy, go play with some shapes. So you know what, Claire? You can oh, clean out spoiled food. And then cook scrambled eggs and bacon, party size. That still won't be enough, but some children will be fed. The fast ones will be fed. All right, Joseph, you've got your thinking level three. You just got to go sit yourself on the potty. Claire, why aren't you cooking? Oh, it looks like everyone's got some leftovers. A lot of people are eating franks and beans, but that's not going to be enough for everyone, Claire. So you still need to make some scrambled egg and bacon for everybody. We just got to get these animals fed and then out the door ready for school. Okay, I think Joseph and Jimmy, you're both quite hungry. So why don't you come here, grab a serving, and then you could take yourselves to bed as well. Why is this kid angry? Because you're tired? All right, well, you can also grab a serving. Are all of the toddlers hungry and tired? Yeah, they all are. Okay, well, all of you grab a serving then. And then you can all go to bed after. Easy. Yeah, I think this will be quite a nice day, actually, because soon, as soon as the dad and the kids go to work and school, all of the toddlers will want to go to bed. So I can put them to bed, and then Claire can just clean up, make the house a bit nicer. Jimmy, you taking yourself to bed? I see you didn't make time to eat your food unless you're going to eat it in bed. No, he's not going to eat it in bed. Okay, well, don't come crying to me when you're hungry. Let's just get these babies to bed now. Come on, tots. I'm also kind of proud that we have 10 people in this household and only one toilet. We haven't had many instances of people like pissing themselves, which I think is quite the achievement. Okay, all toddlers are going to bed. This is nice, this is what we like to see. Sink's broken, well, we can afford to replace it. We make good money. Just pop those leftovers in the fridge. Right, kids, bye-bye, have a good day at school. Make us proud, don't bring shame upon the family. Right, Claire. You need to go to the bathroom, so you go and do that, and then we're going to clean up a little bit. All the kids are at school. When have you got work, Austin? Oh, in an hour. Okay. Well, then you know what? You can clean up some of these messes before you go. Be a helping hand. And then, Claire, you can clean up all these plates here. 
the trash in here, clean that up. Let's just get this place looking spick and span again. These are not our normal family standards, are they? Come on. Okay, Austin, have a great day. I expect he'll come home with a promotion today. He's currently career level five. And as our family grows, I would like to see him reach the top of this career. Oh, Claire's getting a bit tired. All right, well, just do your house chores, Claire. And then you can go to sleep. These potties are pretty filthy. It's almost Erica's birthday. Yeah, I know. Is that the school calling? A teacher caught Polly looking at another student's test. Let her retake the test. Oh, shit, I forgot we hired a maid. Oh, right, well, Claire, forget all that. Get a couple winks while the babies are sleeping. You go for it, girl. Get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on the tots. How are our needs doing? I think they're all... Okay, they're all building up their energy. This one needs a bath. I think one of them's probably quite hungry. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy didn't eat his food, did he? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. All right, Claire, that's probably enough sleep. I think you need to get leftovers. They're going to be for Jimmy. He's the only kid that's hungry. No, Claire, don't eat it. That's not for you. Jimmy, you come and eat the scrambled egg and bacon. Just take it right out off of her. Yeah, just take it out from underneath her. There we go. Okay, this one is fine. Felicity, she just needs a bit of fun, but she can take care of that herself. Harmony desperately needs a bath. So you know what, Claire? Give a bubble bath to Harmony. Serenity's getting a little bit dirty, but she can wait. Harmony comes first, because she's a fucking mess. I think Harmony is the one that is the only child that grew up without top-notch infant. She's like the forgotten, you could say unloved child. She's even got diaper rash. Oh, poor kid. Claire, get off your phone and be a parent, for Christ's sake. Oh, those kids will be home from their school any minute now. God, the days just go by way too quickly in this house. Are you still here? This guy. Lazy. Right, the kids, they're all back. Oh, shit, they're all back with low energy. But some of them will probably get an A soon. Right, why don't you girls go take a nap? They're all very tired. Maybe we should try and get more of a routine going. Look at how they're all walking. They're all exhausted. Sorry, guys. You know what, maid? I'm just going to go ahead and dismiss you because you're taking the piss. I see you hovering over that chair like you're about to take a seat. Okay, let's just take a look at the situation with the toddlers. So this one needs the toilet. Oh, he's taken himself. Okay, that's good. Joseph, he's still sleeping, but he also needs the toilet. So I'm going to send him by himself to go to the potty. Felicity, her hygiene is getting low. Harmony's getting a bit hungry. And Serenity's hygiene is low too. Right, Austin, what time do you get home from work? 5 p.m. So in that case, I'm going to wake Serenity up, give her a bath. Then when Austin comes home, Claire's going to cook dinner, and then Austin can give a bath to uh, Felicity. Okay, Austin's home. He's just got a bonus and a promotion. What are we now, Austin? STEM researcher. What are the requirements for our next promotion? Level 7 gardening skill, level 4 logic skill. Okay, coo, coo. Well, you can't really do anything until the bathtub is free, so why don't you come talk to these trees? Okay, and then Claire, you can come and serve dinner. We'll do fish and chips for everybody. The kids, right, you guys have all been sleeping now for a while. I don't really want you fully rested, because then you won't sleep tonight. And again, just like last time, we're going to form a group with all the kiddies... And we're all going to do our homework together while we wait for dinner. Okay, come on, guys. And then, Austin, you know what? You can come give Felicity a bath now that the bathtub is free. Oh, cooking level seven. Claire's building her cooking skill way faster than Austin's building his gardening skill. Right, Claire, I'm going to have you get leftovers so that there's food for the other, for the kids. Right, this kid's quite hungry, so you can just grab a serving now. There we go. Can you just do what I've asked you to without just standing there doing nothing? Oh, and then eventually crossing it off. Austin, come on. Get your shit together. Give the baby a bath. Claire's given three baths already today. You've only got one, okay? I think Austin and Claire are quite strict parents. Because I keep getting pop-ups for the strict dynamic, so I guess they must be. Are all the kids doing their homework? I hope so. It looks like they're all doing it. What are you doing, Erica? Okay, the ones that have done their homework, 
So Edwin, grab a serving. Polly's done hers. You grab a serving. And then also Erica, I think, has... Oh, Sophie's done hers. Come on, guys. Get some dinner. I'm going to make sure you've all eaten before I send you all to bed. Pete, you may as well grab a serving as well, son. I know you're tired. Okay, is there going to be enough for everyone who's hungry? This kid's pretty hungry. Oh, that's all of it. Right, okay, Claire, you're going to have to get some leftovers out. Or maybe you take a shit and Austin get some leftovers out. All right, you know what? I think it's probably time that everybody goes to bed. Except Austin, because he's got quite good, quite good energy. So I'm thinking, actually, Austin, you can come and moon gaze and work on your logic a little bit while the family is sleeping. Yeah, you could see everyone waddling over to their beds. That's what we like to see. That's right. Also, I think Joseph and Jimmy are going to age up really soon. They've got no days until they're children. Oh, you can hear the birds singing. The kids are about to go to school. Also, just check in on these three. They're doing so well with their skills. Right, how long do we have before the older ones? Two days? One day before they become teenagers. Okay, so they might just come home with an A today. Let's hope so. If you guys want to have dinner tonight, let's hope so. Oh, the kids are all going to school. Okay, have fun, guys. Have fun. Why isn't Peter going to school? Oh, he is. Okay, good. Just lagging behind the others. Austin has a sad mood buff. Should I be more lenient from strict family dynamic? Austin's wondering whether all these strict rules and high standards are worth upholding for his unusually well-behaved family member. Perhaps he should loosen his expectations a bit. Well, I mean, we want them all to go to college, don't we? Oh no, why are you all sad, left behind from parent Because <laughs> their dad went to work. Alright guys, calm down, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm going to start these three... Oh, secretly drop the card, obviously. I'm going to start these three all working on their thinking skill. Erica secretly dropped her card in the cubby. When a classmate came in from recess, she waited as her crush put their coat away. Unfortunately, the Love Day card had slipped between the cracks and was never found. Okay, well then, this time, boldly deliver the card by hand. Now what happens? Sophie's crush didn't even know she existed. This was an opportunity to change that. Sophie bypassed the cubby in favour of a hand delivery. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to find her crush on the playground. By the time Sophie gave up and returned to the cubby, her crush's book bag was gone and the entire opportunity had been lost. So basically, there's no way to get this right. Polly seems to have had a better opportunity by buying a flower for herself. Oh, Edwin secretly dropped his card in the cubby. When the other kids came in from recess, he watched from across the room as his card was opened. Glitter spilled out from the envelope, but it was surpassed in brightness by his crush's smile. Okay, so I guess it... it right, okay, I've had enough of these pop-ups now. Oh, so two of the kids had, su had success on Love Day, and three of them ended up getting embarrassed. Poor kids. Right, Jimmy and Joseph, I think you guys need to age up now. You're like... A few hours away anyway, so let's just do it. And that puts us at seven children, three toddlers. All right, kid, do your homework. Okay, cool. But we'll only have seven children for one day, because in one day's time, three of them are going to become teens. And then I have no idea what I'm going to do about the bedroom situation, but we'll figure something out. Oh, shit, the triplets only have one day before their children as well. Oh, shit, I thought I had a bit more time than that. Well, all of the kids are starting to get hungry, Claire, so perhaps you should maybe, um, serve brunch, uh, breakfast scramble. Well, they have six girls and four boys, so I'm thinking maybe what we'll do, we'll change the second biggest red bedroom, this one, we'll change this into the boys' room and all four of them can share one room. And then the girls, we can split three and three, maybe. Because then we can have three children and three teenagers sharing one room. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Right, everyone who's hungry, grab a serving of food. Okay, we're going to fire the maid because he's really shit at his job. We're just going to fire him. You don't want me anymore? Well, that'll be 99 for today's services. Yeah. Don't come back. Terrible maid. Right, this kid, you, I don't think you've even done your homework. Who is this? Joseph. Joseph, do your homework, mate. And then you can grab a serving of food, because I don't think you got the chance to eat. Joseph did, though. Yeah, Joseph's perfectly fine. He can sit, and he can do his homework. 
How are we doing for our toddler skills? Okay, this one, she needs to work on her thinking. So maybe you can work on your movement while you wander out to do some shapes. This one needs quite a lot of work. So let's wander out and do our shapes as well. Why are you so, oh, cause you're tired. Okay, fine, go to sleep then, grumpy bollocks. Claire, maybe you can make yourself useful. See some plates over here that could do with cleaning up. <gasps> Grades are up, Edwin. Okay, hang on, let's just take a look. Edwin's an A student. Sophie's an A student. Polly and Peter are still B, but that's fine. I was kind of expecting that. They're the younger group. And Erica is an A student as well. Okay, well, in that case, you guys do your homework together. Oh, Edwin's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait. Oh, that's so sweet. Right, I'm kind of tempted now. Because the three older ones are literally on the brink of becoming teenagers and they're A, a students, so they can age up whenever. So I'm kind of tempted to start working on the bedrooms now. So if we say this is the boys' room, and I'll put the three toddlers in here. So I'm gonna put, a, I've got like the activity table, the toy chest and the teddy bear for the kids. And then for the teenage boys, I might give them a desk and then I think we could do with a fresh lick of paint for in here. Maybe like a few posters. Okay, so this can be the boys' room. Oh, you know what though? Maybe we should do like a wardrobe. Just thinking. Probably somewhere to keep their clothes. There we go, just simple. Okay, so all the boys are gonna stay in there. The girls' room, I'm not too sure. So we'll have two teenage girls and one child in here. So really they don't need this, this doll's house because they've still got a doll's house in the garden. Then we'll give the girls a desk. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the toddler room just yet. I'm going to wait for them to become children and then I'll, then I'll do their bedroom. But at least we've got a room for the teenagers. Well, their shared space with the children, but they've got their own space. Updated space, I should say. Not so juvenile anymore. Have all the kids done their homework? Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, Austin's back. Right, Austin. You still need to get your skill points, all right? So go and observe the sky. Claire, let's get you cooking. We'll uh, serve dinner. I just realized in one day, so tomorrow, when these three toddlers become children, life is going to become a lot easier. I mean, it'll be difficult in some sense, in terms of like getting them all to do their homework and stuff, but we'll have the entire day as a housewife We've, we'll, we will have done the hard bit. We could spend all day twiddling our thumbs and watching Jerry Springer if we like. Okay, so we've got a group meal up here. I'm just going to leave it there. And then that way anyone that wants it can have it. Claire, let's take care of your needs, all right? Because the kids are all okay. Why don't you go take a nap? Oh, this kid's got really low hygiene. I'm thinking, okay, let's wake her up. She's going to want to go back to bed after that. But you know what? Let's just give Harmony a quick bath and then she can go back to sleep. Looks like that kid's pretty stinky as well. Oh, Claire has mastered the parenting skill. Oh, good for you, Claire. Check you out. Right, Austin, what are you doing? You never got your logic skill. Can you, like, just try? Can we do that? Can we try? Put some fucking effort in? Okay, you've got your logic level four. You need one more skill point in gardening. So go and talk to the plants for a little bit and maybe, just maybe, we'll get that skill point before work because if he does, he might even get another promotion and then everyone else can go to bed. Oh, Erica has just become a, char a teenager. She earned a bonus tray. Okay, cool, cool. Also, I just realized it's Saturday, so no one's going to be going to school. Oh, I, I like, uh -huh. like what you're wearing there, Erica. Yeah, it's Saturday, so I didn't need to worry so much about Austin's job because he has three days before he's got to go to work. Well, seeing as Erica's aged up, let's age up the, the rest of the triplets. And then we'll age up the toddlers as well because I've had lots of pop-ups saying it's their birthday today. And then you know what I might do? I might do... I'm tempted to build them another bathroom. Edwin can be like a drama buff. And Sophie, she seems like she would be like a bit of a geek. So let's do academic. Have her as a genius. You've aged up already wearing university robes. That is some ambition, guys. That is some serious ambition. 
Yeah, the toddler triplets need to age into children. And then once we do that, I can get rid of that toddler nook and try and turn it into, I don't know, maybe rearrange the gardening stuff and build like an outside bathroom. Oh, you... <laughs> Felicity aged up with very curly hair. A little bit of custom content there, I guess. Oh, there's little Harmony. And then finally we have Serenity. Annoyingly, I kind of have to go with however they're randomly generated when they age up because I've had it before where I've gone into create a sim with more than eight sims and then it deletes sims when I go back into live mode. So I can actually start editing these kids. Perhaps when the first few teenagers move out and then we're under the eight head count. All right, seven children, three teenagers. You've done well, Claire and Austin. Very well indeed. So how long is the teen lifespan? She's got 10 days. Okay, cool. So by the time the older teens move out, all of the, all of the younger children will also be teens. Okay, we don't need any of this toddler stuff anymore. But we will keep the doll's house because, you know, everyone can play with that. Move some of the planters. Literally just going to build like a hut out here. Nothing special, nothing spectacular. Just a spot with the shower for shaving and also a bathroom. All right, cool. Perfect. So now we shouldn't struggle too much with everyone needing the bathroom at the same time. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.